It's now been seven months since the refugees arrived here in the camps in Bangladesh. Now, seven months on, it's very, very important that the work continues. What UKIM is doing there is doing some upscaling work of the shelters. You've got to remember many of these shelters were very, very temporary at that time, and it's now to try and put together something quite semi-permanent. All the projects, including medical projects that have been taken out by UKIM, are very, very important to keep these refugees alive. And that's why UKM is continuing this work on the ground right through uh, every week and every month. And with Ramadan, we're just a few months away now, it's very, very important that we create a situation that we can give them at least a little bit of comfort. Alhamdulillah, what we have here is the new construction of upscaled shelters. What we have done is used the best material possible in the climate conditions that they have here. We've used bamboo. There's been some ventilation left throughout the building because it, it can get extremely hot. Today, we're in the mid 30 degrees or so. So there needs to be a bit of an airflow inside the shelter as well. At the top, we've used triple layer of tarpaulin. This one will protect the family from the rain inside here. So as you can see, inside uh, this home, there is sufficient space for four people uh, to be able to live in here. If we take a look around here, that space here is going to be turned into a kitchen and a cooking area. So there's a little bit of open space there so that the smoke can leave on both sides. So that will be the main cooking area. And one of the most important things that we have to bear in mind when constructing these shelters is the safety and the dignity of the people that are living in here. So when I first saw her making these lentil pakoras in my own household, this would be something that we'd make as an additional snack or something you'd make before sitting down with the family. And I thought that's what she was actually doing. But when she actually told me that this is uh, a substitute or a replacement for lunch today because she's got nothing else to cook today. So she's making these lentil pakoras and she will feed the children and her husband with this. This is one of the older shelters that were put together, barely just a wrap around with a bit of tarpaulin. And from this, we're moving them over to the newly built shelters, which are a lot more sturdy and they're fit enough to fight the monsoon season that's coming ahead. And from where I'm standing, if you just literally look across, um, all of these uh, new shelters that have been built uh, have been built by UKIM as a part of the the, the new shelter project here and we need to continue. You know, this is my first time being here and it's, I'm speechless, I'm literally out of words to describe the conditions for these people. And every single person has a different story to tell and every, every single person has a different uh, ex expression to say about their struggles they've gone through into getting to this place. So brothers, I plead to you, help these brothers and sisters in need. What you look around is a truly massive scale devastation that's taking place around right now and the Rohingyas really need your help. So in addition to creating very sturdy and strong shelters, what we're also doing is giving a concrete flooring. Now that's very, very important because when it starts raining, if rain comes in from, from the outside of the home, it's going to create a very kind of mucky atmosphere. So what we're doing is we're doing, giving a strong concrete flooring here. Now, Part of this uh, house has already been done. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> 